Hello, good morning everyone and welcome to my mini vlog. So anyways, today, gagawa tayo ng content for my experience, kung ano ba ang experience ko sa immigration sa Pilipinas. So pasensya na sa mukha kong, ano, yung camera ko is pangit. Kasing pangit na mukha ko. Exercise. So anyway, sa immigration sa Pilipinas, no, didiretso end ko na dito sa video na ito. So, sa immigration sa Philippines is upon my upon uh, my boarding, upon my boarding, they asking me for my passport and then ticket. And then pagkatapos ng ticket, um, return ticket. And then, so, chinecheck na yung bag ko, yung luggage ko. And then after that, they asking me about a CFO. So, binigay ko na naman sa kanya yung CFO. So, yun lang yung binigay sa akin. And then, sabi niya, okay, kuha ka na ng, kuha ka ng departure tax. So, yung departure tax is my fulfill upon ka. And then, you have to fill up those uh, question dito. Kung sabi, pero about a personal information lang naman. And then, and then ID mo. So, yung ID ko is a driver's license. So, pinipilapan ko and then after is nagpila na kami doon sa immigration. So, doon sa immigration is alam mo nung before, marami akong iniisip, o oh, baka ma-offload or whatever. Kasi ang daming nagsasabi kasi na uh, immigration is very strict or whatever, like this, like that. So, I was prepared so much for my papers and kahit hindi na kailangan yung iba, piniprepare ko talaga. So, now nung sa immigration ako, Anyway, this is my second travel na. The first was, I I was holding a working visa. Working visa to Middle East and now is tourist visa to Australia. So, that was different. So, yon. So, sa so immigration, so ako na yung next. And then, binigay ko yung boarding gate, travel tax, passport, and visa granted. And then after, hiningin niya sa akin is uh, affidavit of support and guarantee or EUS. So, yun. Binigay ko naman sa kanya. And then, after is ano, uh, photocopy of my fiancé's passport. So, binigay ko din sa kanya. And then, after that is nagtanong siya sa akin, did you travel before? Sabi ko, yes. <laughs> Kailan? Sabi ko, eh. It was 2017 to 2019. Sabi niya, ah, uh, do you have old passport with you daw ko, no? Sabi ko, yes, ma'am. And then, binigay ko sa kanya yung old passport ko. So, aware, no? Be aware sa mga ex o FW or ex abroad. Kung saan man kayo magpupunta, kung may naplayan kayo, always bring your old passport as a proof na may, na nagtatravel kayo dati, baka ma-offload pa. ba? So, prepared talaga ako. So, yun. Binigay ko sa kanya. And then, after is, Tapos na. So, yun lang yung hiningin niya sa akin. No? Wala nang iba. Wala nang ichichichichi, whatever. Anyway, thank you for that I.O. She is very kind. Hindi siya strict or whatever, no? Um, mabait siya. So, yung mga I.O., mabait yan sila. Huwag nyo nang maraming sasabi-sabi, whatever. Kasi, pag ikaw ay na-offload, I believe na pag ikaw ay na-offload, may kulang yan sa papel niyo. And more especially kung tourist ka or sponsor ka. And then ma-offload ka. Siguro, uh, marami akong nakikita sa TikTok or sa iba na I have a sample of my EOS like this. Kuy, wag kayo mag, mag, ano, mag-sample-sample ng EOS. Kasi in my experience, yung EOS ko is galing pa dito sa embassy dito sa Australia at saka pinasa sa akin pina DHL no parcel papunta sa akin doon sa Pilipinas. So that is very very authenticated at nakasilya pa talaga. So kung andi papakita ko sa inyo. Asan ba 'yon? So ito. So this is EOS. Andi naka-attach yung 
photocopy of passport. So, pag may magsabi sa inyo, ay, meron akong sample sa AOS, ay, huwag kayong maniwala. Mas maganda kung may authenticated OS kayo. So, nagaling sa uh, embassy. Huwag yung mga sample-sample na papirmahan ng ganito, ganyan, ganyan. So, no. O, anong gusto niyo Makales kayo, pero offload kayo. Or, or hindi kayo makales sa gastos, pero sure na makalipad ka. Di ba? So, yun. Huwag kayo mag, ano, kasi yung mga IO, yung mga officers is pinaprek siguro sometimes strict yan sila kasi pinaprotektahan lang niya, nila tayo as a travelers di ba? so they are just doing their job yun so yun lang ang hiningi sa akin no hindi ako nahirapan doon kasi anyway mabait sila so after that yun na andun na kami nag wait na kami ng airplane so yun lang hiningi sa akin And about my tourist visa is Uh, mayroon akong mga ideas or experience. Siyempre, nag-apply ako. I was applied, no? So, you can comment down below and you can share and like na din. And, you know what? Marami ako pinaprepare na papers as a supporting documents nung hindi pa ako nakalusot sa immigration. So, number one is business permit, bank statement. So, yeah, may bank statement pa rin ako. And then, And then, VAC certificate, CFO, EOS, passport, old passport, driver's license as my personal and for what's that? Um, walang, ID, ID lang, ganun. So, and then, ticket, itinerary ticket. So, yan yung ano ko. And then, travel insurance. Meron din ako. So, mas... And then, picture together. So, mas maganda pag prepared ka talaga sa, ano, sa, sa travel mo. Even though, hindi naman sila nagtatanong kung ano-ano. So, yun lang. Thank you for watching, guys. And you can ask me anything.